Hey everybody, it's Mary Jo with Chat and Chalk, www.chatandchalk.com. Um, I'm here tonight. I want to show you the latest trend that's going on in some of the chalking world. Um, if you follow Chalk Couture, you'll know that we have a lot of fun with our transfers and our chalk paste and all of that. Tonight I want to show you guys how to do a reverse um, canvas. I lost the word. Um, a reverse canvas and how um, easy it can be. There's a few frustrating areas, but it's really quite simple and it's very easy to be able to um, personalize it yourself. So here we go, quick and easy. I'm gonna turn the camera on to the table so that you guys don't have to look at me. You can look at the table and see how everything's going. Okay, here we go. So tonight, and see, I'm hoping that this comes out the right way because I have words, but tonight I'm going to do an Easter canvas. Get ready for April 1st, and let me just show you what I have done. So this is your wood frame. This canvas came attached like this, okay, around like that, just a basic white canvas and what you do is well what I do is I take and I cut and score down that line um, you do not have to take all these staples out unless you're like OCD and need to have those staples out okay because that's still gonna be the back of your board but when you take it off look at this you have a nice pretty frame and this frame is just very easy to access and to paint so you just take this, and then what I do is I trim it right along this fold, right along there. And I just use a regular pair of scissors, or you can use a T-square and a flat edge, whatever you have there that you wanna use. So you're gonna do that. I'm getting ready for a big um, mops class, so I have a lot of these canvases done, and this is what I'm gonna be able to show them happy hands, um, what I'm gonna be able to show them um, with our Chalkology chalk paste, so it's a lot of fun. Now you're gonna take this, if you if there's any um, you know places that need to be sanded, go ahead, sand that up. You know, if that corner's a little too rough for you, sand it up, and then just get whatever paint it is you like to paint. I've painted this with just a blue paint, um, a, a wall paint that I had here, a duck egg blue. And I'm gonna show you a little trick. I'm gonna set this canvas to the side that I'm gonna do because I wanna add some of that dark and that teal blue in there. And so I take our Chalkology chalk paste, which I love, by the way, and I take a nice damp sponge, okay? And actually what I'm going to do is I'm gonna work with the lighter color one first because I want to um, add a little distressing on here. So I have my Chalkology chalk paste. I just put a little on my sponge and I just go ahead and kind of distress it a little with the chalk and that's okay. Oh look, there's a little bit of yellow in there. That'll work. I, I'm kind of excited. I feel that coming on. Um, and add your um, colors that you like just to distress this a little. You can also, if you'd like, you can also um, stain these they're very pretty stained if you have more of a wood grain house and such and then i'm going to take and go ahead and kind of get a little bit of that excess water out get my darker color in there and just again lightly go over it and just add a little depth to it just to add a little bit of different color. Just make it look a little less plain, right? We just want to add a little bit of our ourself to it. And I'm a very haphazard person. I love to um, be spontaneous and just um, do things off the cuff. So there. So we just kind of distress this a little, added a little shape. A little different colors to it okay and that's all done with just a piece of a wet sponge and you can do that you can um, and then you're gonna set this to the side of course and let it dry 
Um, you can also chalk natural wood. So like if I had one of these boards that was brand new natural wood, and for example, I just wanted to chalk on it, I could just simply chalk these colors like I did here with the yellow, and then it would look like I had painted it, but it takes me half the time. So let me show you here real quick. So if I just want to chalk on this, I would simply take my chalk with its damp and I would just simply go over it like that and thin it out and it will dry just like that in that color. So this is the beauty of the chalk paste that is amazing to me. Okay. So chalk paste is very versatile, and the beauty of this is, if I would have waxed it first, I could wash it right off, and it would be all gone. Go for the next time. So let's get back to our reverse canvas. So now you see this is all done in chalk. So that's kind of cool, and it dries real quick too. Okay, so I'm gonna work on our canvas here. And you guys know that what I like to have available for me is number one, my transfers. I like um, a nice um, microfiber cloth or cloths, many. I like many of them. I get these at H2O at home. I love them. Um, and then we're going to make sure that's dry because we're using that canvas. So I get a dry cloth, wipe that off. Um, so we're going to do this Happy Easter canvas. I've already done the first part of what I wanted on this canvas. And then this was the transfer. And since it was really big, see how it was too big for my um, canvas? I cut it up. And that's okay. You can cut your transfers up and make them work for you. Um, but what I want to do with this one and these you just simply peel off like you would any of the other transfers. Make sure they don't stick together. And what I wanna do with this one is I'm gonna do a shadow effect on it. And I'm gonna get this going really quick here so that we can get this done. So to do a shadow effect, you simply line up where it was, right? Just like that. And don't push it down, just keep it up. And then we're going to simply, and the other thing that you can do is tape the corners of your, let me get my tape. Tape the corners of your um, canvas down at the top, just while you're placing, or just, you know, just one little, just while you're playing with that um, transfer here. It'll just help you a little bit of time. So we take that, and then since I wanna do a little shadow with the dark blue, so see how it's where I had it before, and then I'm just gonna simply move it over a tad bit, and this time it's gonna to be to the left. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same dark uh, Tahitian teal color, or no, this is Nantucket. And I'm actually going to place it over it and we're gonna have a shadowing effect. And then I can do my pastels around it and my Happy Easter will be all pretty. So let me show you how this works. So we just take this and we go ahead and we just chalk like we would normally right over the top and we work quickly because we don't want any of that to, um, I didn't stir this ahead of time. I should have, oops, didn't happen. I thought I did, but I didn't. So we have a few little marbling going on in there and that's okay. And my light is also gonna dry this a little faster. So I need to work quickly, but I gotta make sure that I'm only getting the Happy Easter. I don't want any flowers or any of that yet. Cause I'm gonna wash this and come back and do the flowers and the chicky later. 
because I'm not quite sure what my design's going to be on here. I have a lot of things I want to do. I have one finish that I'm going to show you here in a minute once I show you the shadowing. I just love this technique. I use it on a lot of my projects. On the blackboards, oh my goodness, it looks gorgeous. Especially if you use the white and um, do the shadow with the white over it. The other thing you're gonna find with um, doing canvases is you are gonna use a little more chalk because it seems to be a little more porous than a board is. And it goes on a little bit thicker. So, okay, so we have that all done. And now I just simply take this and lift and just hold your canvas underneath. If you don't have it taped, make sure your transfer is not gonna fold on itself. And then I like to just stick it to the side of my table until I'm ready to clean it. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? I'm just loving this. So here is what it would look like um, once I get the frame done. Now this frame, what I'm gonna do with it now, obviously, I'm going to put flowers and stuff, but look at how pretty that all blends because I just have that little touch of that Nantucket blue in there in the frame, and it pulls it together, and it is a little wide, but that's okay. I think I want the happy and the Easter to show more. So, I have this, and I'm going to do some other designs up here. But what I want to tell you about this frame, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take some Minwax, just the natural wax, and you're going to wax on and then wax off. So you're just going to take an old sock, wax it on, just to seal that paint once it's all the way dry, and um, wax it off. And then that is good to go because it's kind of a chalk paint. Now I'm going to I'm going to set aside my Happy Easter. And um, if you come to my Facebook page, it's called VIP Chat and Chalk, you'll be able to see these projects finished. Or if you just message me, I can send you the link. But look at that. This is the one that I'm going to finish tonight. So what you would do with this then is you would simply take this and turn it over wherever you have it positioned. And you're going to take a staple gun and mine's out in the garage, I forgot to bring it up. But you're gonna staple, let me see if I can get this so you can see. You're gonna staple across the top here on this wood. Bam, 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 bam. And then as you go, you're gonna make sure that you're pulling it at the bottom so it's nice and taut all the way down. Okay, so what I would suggest you do is you do like bam, 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 one side, and then come down here and maybe, you know, pull it taut and get one corner, then pull it taut and get another corner. And then when you're done, you trim off the excess edges and you'd have, and again, it would be nice and taut because it will be pulled, but then you would have your reverse canvas. And that is a reverse canvas in a nutshell. Now, obviously, this frame still needs to be waxed, so it's a little um, more buffed and polished. And um, then you can hang your hanger on the back. So what do you guys think? Is that like the most easiest fun craft ever? And it's kind of a little different, and you can customize your frame. So that's always nice. Um, remember, you can do, you can paint your canvas with the chalk paste with a brush and some water and make it a watercolor look in the background. That's always fun. That's a whole different lesson. Okay, guys, you guys have a great night. And remember to visit me at www.chat, C-H-A-T-A-N-D-C-H-A-L-K, chat and chalk. And I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a message if you'd like to join our Facebook page. Um, it's a VIP page. I do a lot of lives on there, a lot of fun things. And if you have any ideas or if you want to um, join my team for $99, jump in, man. It is like so much fun. You get a whole bunch of products and you get great training and you get videos and you get, you know, cash. That's always nice. So anyways, guys, thanks, and you guys have a nice evening.